Hiya, church family. How you holding up? Things are um, getting kind of dicey at our house. Our cat took out a restraining order against Heleni this week. Suffice, suffice it to say that Nacho had to get a bath and then Heleni had to clean the bathroom, walls included, after her loving attention created a fair amount of chaos. How goes it with you? I hear that Bobby and Monique are having an interesting time these last couple of weeks. Call them and check and see how they're doing. These are crazy times. Can you believe we have a tropical storm in the midst of all that's already insane? And by the time you look at this, that tropical storm might be actually here. I hope that you're doing okay. I hope that we're all doing okay, um, despite all of this insanity. So can we just do a do-over maybe for 2020? I don't know if we want to. I do firmly believe that when we are able to look back on this year, that we'll mark this year as a year of great change. And, and I think that that change will have a new connotation when we speak of 2020 vision. I think that that's going to take on a whole new definition for us. Our announcements this week are that we are continuing our new series, Reclaiming Irresistibility, based on the book and the study by Andy Stanley. This is what it looks like. Here's the book, Irresistibility, and then the study, right? So um, I'm going to make the plug again that that y'all do the the study later on in the fall and maybe even buy the book it's a really really great book it is really making me think and these sermons are um they're kind of an intense experience for me every week so it's pretty cool um i had the hardest time coming up with an actual theme statement for this week and Sione is working on the same thing and so and he's working in there I'm in here and I keep calling out do you have a title and then Sione will call uh, I, nope do you have a title we kept calling it out so Andy the title that Andy Stanley the author of it gives is the Bible according to Jesus so, but here's the title that I finally came up with. The Bible tells me so. Wait, what? So, that's my title this week. Um, as you know, New Orleans is not expected to enter phase two this, uh, for another couple of weeks, unfortunately. And your one board is supposed to be meeting on Tuesday to determine whether or not we'll have in-person worship on June the 21st. And interestingly, I'm finding more and more people that obviously are not doing our at-home worship services. They're not watching these videos or anything because um, I'm getting texts. So we are, have we started worshiping <laughs> yet? So anyway, um, everybody should um, get an email this week outlining, you know, when we'll be coming back and what that'll mean and what. Um, kind of parameters and rules we are going to be employing our um, we've got several things on the calendar coming up right now we have two baptisms scheduled for the 21st um, and a family joining and possibly our financial peace graduation and then on the 28th we're hoping that that's going to be confirmation Sunday um, and then that'll be my last Sunday also at Aurora so but I'm not going to talk about that today um, you'll, um, so you'll hear this week sometime what, what we're going to do about resuming worship. Okay. And just let people know they ought to be doing these in-home worship experiences and they would know what was going on. Um, let's see what else. Our preschool registrations have begun both for the summer program um, which is technically a summer camp, and so we'll begin that this Monday, thank you, um, at 25% occupancy because we're still in phase one, and so our camp, our summer buddies camp will start on Monday, 
and then when New Orleans when New Orleans enters phase two, then we can have 50% occupancy. So keep sending kids our way. We're registering for the fall as well, so just spread the word. The last announcement this morning, uh, whenever you're doing this right now, lastly, um, let us know if there is anybody who has a need of any kind, and we will try to find a way to help. So now let's worship. Light your candle, create your sanctuary worship space that's in your home, and if you have family members, gather them together. Follow along on the order of worship. Click on the links, say the prayers, read the scripture, um, send in your offering. Y'all are doing so good with that. I'm really, really proud of you. You're humbling me with your response. Um, not every church is doing that, so thank you. Um, and then either click on the video if we're able to include it this week and um, either listen to and watch my sermon or read it. Um, you know, wherever it's comfortable for you. So, um, let's begin worship. <laughs> 